Amen. 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 Well, I'm not going to keep preaching now too much. Amen. Because we got a speaker coming in. And if he wants us to, if he wants me to tag team, well, you know how we do it on Wednesday night. Amen. Amen. Even if we got a triple team them tonight. Amen. <laughs> but we're going to triple team because, you know, the, the, the world needs to hear some speakers tonight. Amen. <laughs> they need to hear the word of God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Well. Can I get an amen? Amen. Brother James, uh, thank you for coming back. Amen. That's another one of my warriors back there, amen, in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all better look out. He's going to get up here and start preaching next, amen. amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Brother Jorge will be speaking tonight, and I want to introduce him tonight. Come on, Brother man. Jorge, Come on, um, are you ready? I'm as ready as I can Good. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, as always, I'm going to open up in prayer. Is knowing your identity in Christ. Right? We're all going through things right now today. We're all battling. Doesn't always have to be bad, right? But we're all going through certain things and we're trying to push through. And so the biggest thing is to know your identity in Christ. Is to know who you are in Christ Jesus. To know who we are in Christ Jesus. Uh, so the scripture that I... Uh, wanted to speak about was uh, 2 Corinthians 5.20 where it talks about being ambassadors of Christ. Uh, I have a story about an ambassador. So let's say an, a diplomat from Nigeria decides to come to United States, right? As a diplomat, he has diplomat immunity, diplomatic immunity to walk in America under Nigeria laws, right? Mm -hmm. We also, as Christ followers and part of the body, when we walk, we're walking on holy ground. Amen. So we're ambassadors of Christ because we're walking with him, Amen. right? So that just keep that in mind in everything that you do, the decisions that you make, the thoughts Amen. that you have, the words that you say. Mm -hmm. um, Amen. Because we are a representation of Christ. Yes. We are an example of Christ. That's right. Um, Ephesians 5 1 says be imitators of God mm -hmm. that right there is like it's, it's huge it's because right. people see us people hear us people watch us and so it's very very important that we do what we say mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure just like me all of us here we have done a lot of things when we say things and don't do it mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. a lot of times we say that we're going to be better and we, we, we and we fall right we all fall short of the glory of God mm -hmm. but thanks to Christ we're able to get back up and do this again, right? Yes. That's right. Uh, we also have the right to govern. So govern means that we're able to control our area, control our atmosphere, control the things that are around us. Right. And so we're able to do certain things that allow us to be part of the body, to be part of the church, Amen. to be fellow brothers and sisters here. Mm -hmm. um, ambassadors of Christ means that we are the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And when you start to really believe that and really walk in that, something just starts to open for you because you're no longer part of the world. Right. You're becoming set apart. But you have to believe that in yourself. You have to really tell yourself that I am a child of God. Right. I am the kingdom of heaven. I am with God because he is with me. When you really start to believe that, yes, sir. things just start to turn around in a different perspective. Right. So if we go to uh, 2 Corinthians 5.20, the next scripture after that is 21, right? It says, for our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Mm. So again, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Amen. So again, there goes the identity, right? We are the righteousness of God. Righteousness is again the things that we do the things that we say our behaviors our characteristics our attitude like are we having the attitude of the world or are we having the behaviors and the attitude of christ jesus there we go. right those are the important things because again we're on display we we are supposed to be the representation of christ jesus right. because we are ambassadors of christ there you go so this this all ties down to your decisions your thinking uh, your bad habits. We all have bad habits and that's what we're trying to learn. We're trying to learn how to let go of those bad habits and now start to imply new habits that are in Christ Jesus, right? And so at Sunday we talked about the new us. We talked about the new things that we all said we're going to do this and we don't. But now we're going to start to apply the new us. 
And the, the new us is in Christ Jesus. That's right. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Uh, even for me, guys, you know, there's things that I'm still learning. There's still things that I'm still um, trying to control, right? Govern. And a lot has to do with my emotions, my thinking, you know, our five senses, right? The enemy will attack your five senses, right? Mm -hmm. And so we have to remember another identity in Christ. So this is Galatians 5, 22, 23. Galatians 5, 22, 23. This is very important when you're going through a day where you feel like, why is this happening to me? Uh, how can I get out of this? Right. What's my next move? Right. right? It's okay to stop. It's okay to take. It's to, to meditate. You don't have to act upon something that's going on right now. You, it's okay to stop. So this Galatians 5, 22, 23 talks about the fruit of the spirit. Again, this is an identity of Christ. This is not something that we possess. The Holy Spirit gives it to us, right? That's right. Here we got love, mm -hmm. joy, peace, patience, mm -hmm. kindness, goodness, fruitfulness. This is my favorite one. Gentleness. Mm. Us guys, right? Gentleness mm. and self-control. Self-control is one of the hardest ones, but we have that. That's but right. do you, you got to believe that you actually can have and possess that, right? Amen. So when it comes to these things, these are all things of emotion. Uh, I read in a book one time, it says, when I'm angry, stop, take away that anger and replace it with joy, replace it with peace. Because at that moment, something rattled me up that is allowing me to start thinking out of my anger, to start thinking and making decisions based off what just happened. But you know what? God, remove this from me. God, forgive me. And Holy Spirit can replace it with joy and peace and gentleness and self-control. And he will do that for you, right? right? Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Someone in marriage told me this. Don't ever go to sleep angry with your wife. Because you don't want to wake up the next day angry over yesterday. And that's just applied in everything that we do. Mm -hmm. If you wake up tomorrow upset about something that happened yesterday, your whole day will be revolved over yesterday. So we have to be able to give that to God, let it go, repent, and continue moving forward, yes, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. So emotionally, guys, um, you know, I, I explained to you guys when I was at the men's home that, you know, I myself was an addict, that I myself uh, have gone through things over the years I've been arrested a lot of things as well um, being incarcerated and coming out of the world it was like okay what do I do now how do I put the word with the world I, I didn't know what, how to do that I thought I did but I did it all wrong mm -hmm. um, and so a lot of times I would tell myself I can't do this anymore right this is too hard yeah I quit mm. this is never gonna be good enough I'm too old mm -hmm. I'm never gonna get past this. I'm always gonna be a failure. Now you're telling yourself all these things that are not part of the identity of Christ. Mm. Nowhere in the scripture does it say that, that this is who we are. We're not, we're not that anymore. That's who we used to be when we died. But when we resurrected in Christ Jesus, we became something new, right? Proverbs 18, 21 says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. That's right. If you wake up and you say, I can't do this anymore, that's going to be your day. Amen. Right? Yep. If you wake up and you say, this is too hard for me, that's going to be your day. Amen. So we got to be able to switch that mindset. We got to be able to have self-control over our thoughts and our emotions. And instead, we're going to say what the word says about us. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the word says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. The word says, I am a child of God. The word says, greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Amen. The, world's, the word says, no, I am no longer a slave to sin, but a slave to righteousness. Amen. So when you start to say those things instead of, I am no good. No, no, no. I am a child of God. I'm never going to do anything. No, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. You change the perspective of your day. That's you right. change the atmosphere. That's you change right. your thought patterns. And the enemy, guess what? He has to flee. You're resisting him at that moment. You're saying something that he, he does not like, and he's going to flee. 
Mm -hmm. So currently right now in my own life, just to tie into this, um, you know, guys, I don't like to talk a lot about something that I don't do myself. I don't like to talk about something that I am not learning because I don't feel like it's right. Right. I've done that all my life. I told people stories. I pretended I was a people pleaser. That didn't work. OK, it just made Come a bigger hole it. for myself. Tell right? the truth. Come on. Tell and it. so I've learned that the truth has power, especially when it's the truth of God, because nothing could go against it. That's right. And so when you speak and you walk in what you speak, it, it the love of Christ is behind it. The anointing of Christ is behind it. The grace, the mercy, everything that ties in the word, the identity of Christ is behind it. Um, right now, personally, um, I'm, I'm learning how to be a better husband, a better father, and a better leader. And there's challenges that I go through. I have to learn about finances. I have to learn about budgeting and savings and business and all these things. And yes, I, I have moments where I feel like this is too much, but I can't rely on myself. This is not my plan. This is God's plan. Mm -hmm. So now I have to seek him for what God wants me to do because I don't know what to do. Right. But when I seek him humbly, he, he begins to show me what to do. Right. And that's when we have to be obedient and say, okay, God, I'm going to do what you tell me to do. Mm -hmm. Even if it's something so small, you're like, I don't want to do that. Right. But that's not, that's not the thing that God wants to want you to walk down that path, not this path. Amen. Amen. Um, Right now, also, I have my wife who's in, who's back in school, and she has low self-esteem. She has low confidence because she's failed many times. And so yesterday we talked, and she was like, hey, I don't think I can do this. I was like, no, you can't speak like that. We, we got to switch it. Amen. We got to switch it. Go. We got to switch it because she needs to believe in herself. But not just that. I was like, you have God with you. You didn't have that before. Amen. Now it's different. Now you can seek him. And now you can look for him, and he's with you while you're going through this process. Amen. Amen. And of course, something I didn't do before was I wasn't with her when she was doing, trying to do good in, in the world. I was still doing bad. Uh -huh. And now that I'm learning how to be a better husband, I'm like, okay, God, love your wife the way Christ loves the church. So I'm just like, okay, God, teach me how to do that, right? Uh, even my kids, my kids are, are, are battling health issues. Um, you know, everyone's going through stuff and my daughter has asthma. She says, I'm sick. And I, and I, and I tell her, no, I want you to say this real loud. My lungs are strong. So she says, my lungs are strong. So she just spoke it. And to me, that's, that's power. Even at her age, we're like, no, we're speaking life. We're speaking blessings. Come on, we're speaking, um, power. just power. Yeah. Authority. We're speaking into, into the realm and saying, no, yes. we are in Christ Jesus. Yes. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, come on, give it to him. Uh, so, guys, uh, as I end this, I just want you to know that you don't have to do this alone. Amen. Like, everyone here is together, right? Yeah. Everyone here is working together. You're learning from one another. You're asking questions. You're, you're learning from your past experiences. Um, you're, 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 you're feeding off of one each other, right? And, and we're not alone, even though a lot of times in our lives we felt alone, right? Mm -hmm. I broke down because I thought I didn't have anyone in my corner. I felt that everyone judged me, pointed the finger at me, no one was there for me. But now we have, we're around people who really believe that we can do it. Mm -hmm. Now you have to believe that you can do it. We have each other. We have the body of Christ. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the word. We have angels. We got God the Father. We got Jesus. I mean, we can keep going, right? Mm -hmm. We have all these things. We have access to them. And so now everything is possible. Amen. So I want you to walk in that and believe that everything is possible because that is our identity. Mm -hmm. That's who God created us to be. God said, I created you in my image. And when you really start to believe that and start to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh, you will start to see things manifest. Mm -hmm. You will see the word come alive where you've never seen it before. And I mean, God does amazing things. You're just like, wow, I never really, never thought that could happen. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. So, yeah, guys, just remember, we are the kingdom. 
Amen. Remember that we are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Remember it is no longer I who live. It's no longer you who live, but Christ who lives in us. Amen. And let's walk in that victory. Amen. Let's walk in that light. Let's walk in that spirit. Yes. Because it's not about our lives anymore. Amen. Yes, we're a portion, but there's people out there that need it even more. Amen. I really Amen. believe it. And God has put us in position because we're about to be on assignment. And I, and, I, and I speak this to you guys because I look at you guys here and I see something marvelous. I see something great. And God will work through you if you allow him to. Amen. Thank you, God. As God is making his what? His appeal through us. Right. When he's making an appeal, you know, when, when, when you're trying to get something across somebody, what are you doing? You make an appeal. Wait, wait, wait. I, wait let's talk about it. Amen. Yeah. This we we need we need to break it down. Amen. There you go. Can I get an amen? amen? Let me let me tell you. Let me let me just break it down a little bit. Amen. Let me tell you what what a, a uh, ambassador means. Amen. It means to be a, a representative. Yes, sir. Can I get an amen? There you go. It means to be somebody that's an advocate. Somebody that's going to take charge. You know, he he's he's got a purpose for being there. Go ahead. Can I get an amen? amen. It, it also means that you're a champion. Hey, my God. We got any champions in the house tonight? Amen. This is what it's saying. You know what? I've made you a champion. Yeah. Now I need you to work for me so I can get my word out through you, my God. Y'all don't hear me tonight. Can I get a witness? Amen. So understand now, ambassador is a powerful word. You know, he, he said it's somebody that, that that's a supporter. Amen. You know, you got to support. What are we doing? We're supporting what God has been teaching us. That's it. Can I get an amen? Amen. And because if, if we're not doing what God is teaching us, the word ain't in us. He said it. You know, the word's got to be entrusted in us. Amen. So that we can get God's word. He's trying to make an appeal through us. That's can it. I get an amen? amen? God made him who had no sin to be sin for us. So that in him we might become what? The righteousness of God. Go ahead. You know, everything, this God, regardless of what it was, again, all this is God's doing. Amen. All this is freely available to us because of the initiative and of the divine grace that God had. So he's saying, okay, this is available to you. I'm making you an ambassador, but now what you gonna do with it? Like the brother said, you know, I can't teach what I don't have. So God has been instilling us. We got the fruits of the spirit, he said. Amen. Right. Can I get an amen? amen? Then where is it? Amen. Why are you not making an appeal through the fruits of the spirit that God has gifted us with? Because he said that he's doing this so that we may what become the righteousness of God. So if, you, if you're living in righteousness, what are you doing? You're living right. Come on, somebody. Go ahead. You ain't living like a heathen today. Come on, somebody. Amen. He, you, you're doing the right things for God. He said right to me, you're being set apart, being holy as Christ is holy. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Uh-oh. Let me, let me get up on here. Let me get, let me get to the word over here. It, uh, he, says, he says, you know, I love this. And I'm going to go to the fruits of the spirit. Amen. All right. But I want to end up. Uh, on 23 when he said meekness tempers against such there is no law and 24 says and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust you see we ambassadors of Christ today amen we don't we don't get into the lust no more can I get an amen we we have crucified it and let me break it down to y'all amen let me let me make it plain can I make can I make it plain tonight let me make it plain Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. He says, Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. He says, Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. Amen. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Oh, y'all with me tonight. Amen. And it says, let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Don't you know that when you become somebody, you become an ambassador? Amen. My God. Oh, I'm going to mess up tonight. Amen. You become somebody. You become a speaker. You become an advocate for something like that. People want to tear you down. 
And then all of a sudden we get conceited because I, you know, pastor don't put me up here to preach. My God, I'm, I'm talking to somebody. Right. Can I get an amen? amen. And, and so he tells us, be careful now. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. You see, God has called us to be all ambassadors. That's true. Amen. So there's no, don't be mad at your brother. Don't be mad at your sister. And don't envy them because God is using. Oh, y'all with me tonight. Can, can I get an amen? You see where this is going? See, God is saying, I, I, need a, I need to get a word through you to be my ambassador. But I also don't need you to get big headed and get ugly because he's doing something, maybe doing something better than you. Oh, y'all don't hear me tonight. There you go. And so we got to be careful and say, okay, no, I got to be used by God. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. And we got to be careful not provoking. You know, we love provoking people. <laughs> oh, no, I, come on, somebody. Amen. Can I get a witness? We love provoking people. I love doing that. My wife, she loved doing it to me. Uh, we, after a while, we've been looking at each other. We've been just standing there and be looking at each other, waiting for the <laughs> But we love each other, amen. amen. You know, so I, we got to be careful, amen. I, I'm just throwing that out there, amen. You know, but we we provoke people, and we don't even know we provoke them, cause we get conceited. It's like, no, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. God put me in charge. I'm the ambassador of the house. Oh, y'all don't hear me tonight. Y'all don't hear me tonight, amen. We got to understand that God is using us to make His word go forth and how do we do it by living by the fruits of the spirit sometimes we don't even need to make an appeal he said I'm trying to do something through you but you know if you walk in the fruits of the spirit you don't even have to say nothing it's true. your kindness comes out your long suffering comes out your patience come out come on somebody your love comes out your joy comes out and you're like man I, I want what he has well, man, you got to start, well, make me an ambassador. God, somebody needs to start praying. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. I love Ephesians when he came to Ephesians. Amen. Can I, can I take your Ephesians? Let me go back. He, he said, don't, let the, don't be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Uh-oh. Getting quiet up in here. Can I get an amen? amen? In your anger, do not sin. Do not let sun go down while you are still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. You know, when you give the devil a foothold, you can't be an ambassador for Christ. Can I get an amen? amen. If you give the devil a foothold to come into your life, he's going to control the way you think. And he said, you got his word tonight was, we got to know who we are in Christ. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. But when we let the devil come in and step in and say, you nobody, you didn't graduate, you have no finance, you got your broken car, you got a junked up car, my God, I can keep on going. We let the devil get in our minds and we forget who we are in Christ Jesus. Oh, y'all better, better help me tonight. We, don't, we forget that we are ambassadors of Christ. He's making us to become righteousness of God. Can I get an amen? He's saying, you know what? Listen to me. I, I done said I'm making you my ambassador. Amen. And you anger, don't let the sun, he said, sun go down while you're still angry and do not give the devil a foothold. He who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work do, doing something useful with his own hands that he may have something to share with those in need. Amen. Amen. You know, God said, you know what? I'm making you righteous, but it's coming through me. What Christ did, he reconciled me back with God. Amen. That's what he, that's what this is. Let me go back to, let me go back to Corinthians. Amen. Let me go back here. Amen. Don't, Amen. don't want to get sideways on y'all. Amen. Right, right. What Christ did, God did. Can I get an amen? Amen. What Christ, Christ's death mainly affected the world. That's what the Bible is telling us. Amen. That is human sinners rather than evil, uh, supernatural beings with something. Um, for whom no divine provision for reconcil reconciliation has been made. Christ's death upholds God's righteousness. Amen. Trespasses were placed on the one who knew no sin. Can I get an amen? amen? In return, the righteousness of God is credited, imputed to all who are in him. The word reconciliation is known to others by only 
when ambassadors for Christ spread it. Can I, are y'all with me tonight? Did I get a, did I go, did I go a little bit too fast for y'all? So what are you saying that the word reconciliation is that it's known to others only when ambassadors for Christ spread it. So we're the ones to spread the news. We're the ones to say, God did this in my life. Mm -hmm. God did this. God hung on the cross for your sin so that you can be reconciled back to God. Oh, y'all don't hear me tonight. This is what this word is telling us tonight. That because God knew no sin, he became sin. He took up our sin to hang it on the cross so that we could come back home to God. Oh, y'all don't hear me tonight. Can I get an amen? amen. He said, this is what I'm making you today. But the word is telling us that we're to be used as ambassadors to tell others, God died for you. He died for you. My God, he died for social media too, my God. Y'all better help me tonight. Amen. This is, this is the good news that we, God is calling us, okay, you're going to be my ambassadors. Well, go out there and speak it. Don't go out there and pretend. Come on, somebody. He said, because... We would need to know who we really are in Christ. Come on, somebody. This is what his message was tonight. Who are you in Christ? What's, who's our identity in Christ? Well, we are ambassadors. Yes, amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Give God glory in the house. Amen.